Hey, welcome to Small Country Big Talk. This is Joey Spitz. I have the pleasure of being joined today by Don Reichel. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Hello. You just finished up your tour. This is your last stop here in New York. Any thoughts you can share with us about the journey? Uh, it was a short one. Uh, we, we're just going back home for two weeks and we'll come again to the West Coast and later on to the East Coast uh, in two weeks. So it's um, we never finish a it tour. It's, it's a continuously... Uh, Journey. For Any the past, new cities uh, along the way, or are these all places you've been to? Um, it's mostly p- places that we, we we've been to. We we are touring uh, all over the world for the past eight years, so we're just uh, uh, going back and forth. So we are always uh, also we started. Li- uh, we kind of living on the road. Um, uh, half of the year we are on the road. Uh, so we are also recording albums on the road with mobile studios, or and so. So you have fans yeah. all around the world, U.S., Israel. I'm curious, how do you believe you're perceived differently in Israel or the U.S.? Are the fans different? Yes. Uh, first of all, it's, it's because uh, in Israel, our music considered to be the m- mainstream. Uh, we have hits on the radio that everyone can sing along or whatever, you know. And outside of Israel, it will always uh, consider to be um, world music. So it's very interesting for people, uh, people coming not only from our community, the Jewish or the Israeli community, but also people from that are, you know, that are just checking out, you know, performing art centers, the the season, the pro- programs, or or world music festivals, and it just. How do you feel about that label being called World Music? Do you think that's fair to call your music that? Is it a label that you associate with yourself? Um, world music is a is is the definition of of foreigners. Only people that outside of the situation can can define it as world music. Um, I think that. Buena Vista Social Club is Cubanian music, but Cuban music, but it's still world music. Um, or uh, Cesaria Evora, she's doing music from Cape Verde, the the mainstream music of Cape Verde, but she is considered to be world music. Well, you um, collaborate with people from all over the world. It's yes. one of the things you're most known for. I know on this yeah. most recent tour, you had Mira Wad joining you. I'm curious. How do you find all of the different people, and how are they received? Are they received differently in different places? Yes, indeed. So, a good example is to perform with uh, with uh, Indie Ari, Grammy Award winning Indie Ari, that she's totally unknown in Israel, for an example. So, in Indie Israel, she's like, people are fascinated by this amazing vocalist. But here in the States, you know, you're coming to Atlanta and she's the main thing, you know, of course, you know, like selling millions of records. So you can perform with Vufa Kature, uh, the Malian legendary guitar player. And, you know, he will be kind of w- very hardcore world music uh, scene all over the world. But you go back to Mali and he's like on the mainstream radio rocking, you know. How do you, f- how do you connect with these people? How do you find all of them? Um, it's just sometimes it's random meetings, you know, I met v- Vifa Kature in a terminal in Berlin um, while connecting flights with his band and my band. I met Indy Ari when she was visiting with her mom, Israel, and she was just buying CDs and she checked my band and she contacted me. I can meet, you know, a singer in my band, Ravid Kahalani, one of the lead singers. I just met him random in the streets in Tel Aviv, King George Street, and he just contacted me and asked if maybe we can collaborate on something. So it's just to keep your eyes and ears open all the time. It's often said about your music, probably in part because you bring in so many different people, that it's unique in its ability to kind of unite the world, break down barriers. Is that something you believe, or is it more of just a cliche? Are you just trying to make good music? I'm trying to make just good music. Um, I'm not trying to do an anthropological research or to save the world. I'm doing music. But I do believe that uh, by collaborating with uh, View Farka Touré and being him played in the Israeli mainstream radio, I think that people are start Googling about Mali and about what's going on in this country. I believe that uh, listening to uh, Palestinian Mira, uh, Israeli Palestinian Mira Awad on the mainstream I- Israeli uh, music uh, radio stations, 
uh, people start Googling about her, what is her region. I hope that, uh, that in Israel, youngsters will learn about Palestinian art, about uh, the, the theater in Syria, that kids in Jordan uh, will learn about Israeli music, that kids from uh, Lebanon will learn about Israeli film industry, just to share the culture. In addition to having all of these different cultures interspersed throughout your music, I noticed you also include a lot of psalms from the Bible, from the Hebrew Bible. Yeah. I'm curious, how does that play into your own religious identity? Is it simply just lyrics for a song, or what does it say about your own beliefs? First of all, um, the Bible is a, is a literature piece of art, let's say, even, even like that. This is the most important book ever, you know. It's you know, everything was already been said and written and told. You can just repeat it in on your own contemporary way. Um, I think that you don't need to be Jewish to understand that this is the DNA of of life. This is why also the Old Testimony is is this is what it is, you know, or. So it doesn't matter what you believe in, you know, that you don't need to be Jewish. It, it doesn't reflect my, sure. my mm, the stream of Judaism that I'm, I'm coming from. I, I don't, also don't, don't think that I need to wear total black outfit with long beard to... Uh, to quote the Bible. To, yeah. So it's just Judaism. Just update your Judaism to volume nice. 2013. <laughs> Well, we're going to wrap up. I just wanted to end. You know, you have a lot of fans both here, around the world, in Israel. What can we expect from you the coming year? You mentioned you're always on tour, but any new music coming out? So we just released, uh, the past year, we released the, the the live album, which you can find on iTunes. And, and, and so we're touring with this album, uh, Home Back and Forth. Um, then we released an album with Vio Farka Touré. The Toure Reichel Collective, so we have a few tours going on and scheduled also for the Toure Reichel Collective. And in two week, in two months, we will release an uh, Israeli album in Israel, but I'm sure that right after we'll distribute it worldwide and we'll come back um, for a, for the tour like in, in February and then later on we'll be again in the States around October. 2013. Awesome, man. We can't wait to see you on stage. It's a pleasure having you in the studio. Thank, Thank you, Don, for coming Thank on the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you.